San Francisco Peace Conference comes Premier Shigeru Yoshida. Accepting the treaty terms, he pledges that Japan is a new nation dedicated to peace, democracy, and freedom. The historic meetings proceed on schedule despite the efforts of Soviet Russia. Balked in his attempts at disruption, Andrei Gromyko pulls his old trick of walking out with a representative of Red Poland following at his coattails. The Red Czech delegation also leaves its seats, but Gromyko and gang are all back in five minutes to remain until this next to last meeting breaks up. Next day, 48 nations signed the peace treaty with Japan. Australia's Percy C. Spender affixes his signature. Canada is represented by its Minister of External Affairs, Lester Pearson. Brigadier General Carlos P. Romulo signs for the Philippines. Herbert Morrison represents Great Britain. Never before in history have so many nations joined in the signing of a treaty of peace. But Russia stays away with its two satellites. Now the American delegation walks to the treaty table. Dean Acheson, chairman of the conference, receives a burst of applause. So does John Foster Dulles, architect of the peace with Japan. Japan signs last, and the page in history is turned. Despite Russia's threat that the treaty sows seeds of a new war in the Far East, high spirits greet the successful conclusion of the San Francisco Peace Conference. Later, the U.S. and Japan sign a security pact allowing American forces to remain in Japan. At the conference table, the free world forges an important victory.